Fine, thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hello. Please be seated. Thank you. Seers and uh, I've called for this meeting for some brainstorming and uh, on matters that are very I don't need to go to the background of the narrow believer. For President William Ruto and I and the people of Kenya, narrow believer is a national shame. The level of pollution is unacceptable. It's also very, uh, our people along the river lack dignity. And um, that situation cannot continue. And the president in the executive order after formation of government assigned me that function to coordinate activities from all stakeholders to sort out Nairobi River once and for all. Mm -hmm. That's why all of you are here. Yeah. And uh, it is the President's desire that we create an Arab River Commission mm -hmm. to coordinate activities among all the stakeholders because none of us can work on it alone. Yeah. The amount of work that needs to be done is enormous. The resources required are substantial. The technical uh, input that is required mm -hmm. is quite something. Mm -hmm. And uh, no single actor can deal with the issue of Nairobi River alone. Mm -hmm. That pollution has been there for years. The late John Michoke, when he was the Minister for Environment, tried to do something. And there was some substantial progress. But after his death, there was no follow-up and we went back to where we were. Mm -hmm. So President William Ruto has given me instructions to opt to make Nairobi River Commission operational mm -hmm. so that we can start, all of us together as the various stakeholders, a concerted mm -hmm. effort to sort out the issues of Nairobi River so that we do away with the pollution, make the river clean and usable, create livelihoods mm -hmm. for people along the river make it a recreational center, make it attractive, make it clean, and uh, restore uh, our environment to the acceptable levels along that river. So this meeting is to seek your input. Mm -hmm. I'm, I know uh, Habitat, UNEP, Nairobi County Government, you have been mm -hmm. having mm -hmm. a lot of discussion. Mm -hmm. So to avoid duplication, I, I decided that it is appropriate to call all of you here mm. so that we agree on what will Nairobi River Commission do to coordinate mm. the activities of all stakeholders, mm. to mobilize resources, and to do the actual restoration mm. of the river to an environment, uh, environmentally acceptable mm. Uh, piece of God's creation. So we need to gazette, we need to form the Nairobi River Commission, and we need to develop the terms of reference. What will that commission do? And then we need to agree who are the actors in that commission, who will be represented in that commission, and thereafter identify suitable people with the necessary credibility, expertise, passion, zeal for the job. The president would have wanted to have this commission gazetted uh, last week, but uh, we agreed with him that we had not done enough consultation with all the stakeholders. Mm. He did direct me to have a discussion with the executive director of uh, UNEP, and we had a uh, Soup conference. It was very, very engaging and very <coughs> insightful, and uh, it enriched our thinking from where we sit. But that is not sufficient. We need to bring everybody on board. Mm -hmm. So what I'm requesting this uh, afternoon mm -hmm. is to convert this meeting into a working session. Mm 
so that by the end of today, if it's possible, we agree what it is. What will be Nairobi River Commission? What will be its terms of reference? What will it do? What form will it take? How will it incorporate all the actors? Then we agree, whom do we bring on board? We also look at the number of years we think we need for that commission to exist legally to restore Nairobi River. So we look at the tenure of the, of the commission, how long, two years, three years, five years, whatever, and then we see how, how we engage. That's why I called for this meeting. You are aware that the new government, the Ruto administration, has changed the modus operandi. You know, uh, those who in the previous government are finding it a little bit uh, interesting. Our modus operandi is engagement, 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 continuous engagement with stakeholders. Listen to everybody. The president has said that a good idea must give way to a better idea. And a better idea ultimately should give way to the best idea. And that can only happen when you engage. So along the way, we were with the UN family here last week. We are here again. We'll continue engaging. And we are, the president and I and the rest of us who work with him are clear that we don't know everything. We don't have, we have no monopoly of knowledge. We know very little. We want to be, we want other people to enrich our thinking every day. Every engagement is enriching to us. We are better people every day. After we consulted with the UN family last week, I'm a better person today. I'm sure after this meeting, I will even be better. That's the way we want to work. And uh, our CSE here, they have been properly guided. They must also engage at their levels. You know, uh, We don't want just to do things uh, from uh, the top. You are aware we have the bottom-up yes. economic model. Yes. yes. This bottom-up is not just the economic model. Yes. It's even in engagement. Yes. We engage even from the bottom. Mm. Let's listen to everybody. Mm. Even these people who have no jobs, they know something. Yeah. The fact that they are, they are jobless does not mean that they have no brain. They know something. Let's listen to everybody. It will help this country. <coughs> it will help the world. It will help humanity. So that is why I've called for this meeting. And uh, just to agree on what we do, how we do it, so that we fulfill that mandate. Already, the Nairobi River Commission is domiciled in my office and be overseeing and coordinating. And why it has been put here at the yeah. presidency is to give this thing the political muscle that it requires. Yeah. Cleaning Nairobi River requires a bit of muscle. Mm -hmm. There will be a bit of resistance, uh, Deputy Governor. Mm -hmm. Yeah? There are guys who have been living around there, polluting the river. Mm -hmm. They have built homes. It requires a political muscle and goodwill, and that will be provided by the presidency. Mm -hmm. That is why it is here. So that where we need a certain intervention, probably at mm -hmm. one time or another, we know when we want some police action, we are able to do it. Where we need to get this and that ministry put together, I'm <coughs> able to do it from here. Where I need to bring the county government and the national government <coughs> together, I'll be able to do it from here. And of course, you are aware that the function of coordinating our development partners is also in this office. So it makes it much easier because now I'm coordinating the development partners. So as we look for resources for this very noble mm -hmm. exercise and objective, mm -hmm. this office will come in handy, right. of putting everybody together so yeah. that we have a common, a common uh, objective. President, uh, having this as a priority area really is to demonstrate what it is, that uh, it is an, an area of uh, uh, the communities that live around the river and your excellency we will have very little choice we need to find space for alternatives for them some of them have lived there for years and uh, you know they derive a livelihood they did um, our deputy governor the insecurity uh, checks in because where do they go what do they do and in this country we are going to make sure that uh, uh, we provide all the necessary support